the big one. It's the big one. It's our biggest interview to date. I'm quite nervous. I'm really nervous. I'm also slightly worried because we are yeah. running late. Just a little bit late. Um, Guys, it's, um, it's a bit of a delay. Okay. So, uh, Is there anyone else we can get? But he's coming or? Uh, he's coming, but we don't know. Don't know how soon. Anyone else? Um, the Grinch? Can we get the Grinch? The Grinch. No one can get the Grinch this time. Okay, fine. It's too expensive, oh. obviously. Okay. okay. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Oh. oh. What a pleasure to meet you. I'm Ali. Hello. Good. To, oh, you're there, Ali. <laughs> you'll be Sam. Love And you're to up meet. all hours. We are up we all hours. I know the feeling. <laughs> oh, God, of course. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming, Father Christmas. We know that it's oh, really sure. busy this time of year. Lord, is it busy. <laughs> yeah. You've got a lot on. Um, so we really appreciate you making the time to Not come and see us. Um, and what we did is we on the website, ask people, ask little children all over the world to send in their questions for us to ask you. So we have picked the top, what, 15? 15, yeah. 15 of them. Which was hard, because they were very hard. And they were were they good children? All good questions. They're all on the good list, we think. Oh, yeah. Good. yeah. Well, you'll be able to tell oh, no. us. Oh, the parents, no. the parents no. might have a different I'll idea. But. Um, so we'll crack on, because I know time is precious. So the first question is from Naya, and she wants to know, where did you find your magic reindeer? Well, Naya, I didn't really find them, because I made them. Okay. Um, and uh, you only have to make them once. But uh, I made them from magic snow that we have at the North Pole, but it's special snow, and I made it into shape, make them into shape of reindeer, and then sprinkle on the fairy dust, and whoosh, there you go. Off they go. Oh, fantastic. <gasps> Brilliant. I never knew that. This is so exciting. Yeah. Sorry, we're a bit starstruck. <laughs> um, the second I'm question... <laughs> <laughs> the second question is from Elodie, and um, she rather cheekily wants to know how old you are, Father Christmas. Well, Elodie is such a lovely name, such a cheeky question. Yes, mm. it is a bit. Well, I'm as old as time. In fact, I'm very, 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 very old, but I have a very good cleansing regime uh -huh. using yak butter and whiskey, and it serves me very well. And actually, girls, you ought to try it. <laughs> you should. Put you that don't, on Christmas. So you drink the whiskey, obviously, and smear the yak butter. I, do I do, and in fact, I've been delivering presents for so long, the first little girl. Um, who asked me for present actually asked me for some rock. Oh. And do you know what I did? I made her the first stick of sweet rock oh. the world ever knew. Wow. Um, so Maya would like to know, how many presents do you deliver each year? Probably each year about a billion. Wow. wow. Yeah. A billion. That's but then I lot. do have a million elves working for me. So the next question is from Flynn. 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 And he would like <laughs> Flynn. And he would like to know. Why are you called Father Christmas? Well, I'm called Father Christmas because I am simply the father of all Christmases. Lovely. And I'm here because of all the love of the children in the world. I feel that love. And that's why I give presents to little children. And that's why Christmas is Christmas. So the next one is Scott. And Scott would like to know, who is your favourite reindeer? Oh, Scott, honestly, it'd be really <laughs> naughty to, in fact, if, if any of the reindeer hear this, they might get a bit upset. But Where are, I, are they outside? Yes, they're <gasps> champing at the bit, yeah, quite yeah, literally. Yeah. Again, how quick, no, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're champing at the bit. But um, now I do have uh, one particular reindeer oh. who I like for all the wrong reasons, because he's as daft as a brush. <laughs> uh, one day, uh, we were meant to be coming to, well, to England. Um, and in fact, he took a wrong turn. Oh. And Took, took us all to America. <laughs> no. But that's, you know, that's the way he is. That's the way. What's his name? Dasher. 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 Oh. Yeah, so, Dasher. so that's your favourite? Well, he, I suppose the others are so good. Yeah, and they're so he loyal, play it by the book. And he's, he's sometimes a little bit naughty. Bit of a character. Bit of a bit dark, bit of a character. And he needs a bit of looking after. And, you know, and I'm just sort of one of these people that just likes to look after things. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's very really good. Nice. <laughs> Um, so, Faith wants to know, do you really eat all of the mince pies and drink all of the sherry that everyone leaves out? Because that's a lot. I know, Faith. The truth of it is, actually, that sometimes I don't eat them all. And sometimes you might see just half a mince sure. pie I have left or yeah. maybe half a glass of sherry. Yeah. But usually all the sherry goes, I have. <laughs> the thing is... Are there any drink driving rules? No, 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 not up there. No, no, not okay, up there. great. What you've got to understand is when you're visiting a billion children, mm in a matter of hours, oh. you're burning up a lot of calories. 
Yes. So although I yeah. turn into a bit of a porker by the end of what, Christmas. What, so sitting, sitting in a sleigh? No, oh, a lot come of on. You're and you're the right. Up and down, the up and down. Yeah. You're right, actually. And right. And think of the speed I'm moving at. Yes, yeah. exactly. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, do, I'm you very know, fast. Are you up for one or maybe? Uh, later, darling. Yeah, <laughs> later. Okay, all right. Well, yeah, we'll have those later. And a sherry, of course. Yes, yes, and a sherry, yeah. always. Uh, so the next question, Father Christmas, is um, from a little boy called William. And um, he would like to know if anyone gets you any presents. What a nice thought, William. He's a sweet boy. I think he is a sweet boy. Mm. I know the William. Oh, I'm sure, yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, last year, Mrs. Christmas got me some thermal underpants because it gets a bit, you know, up there <laughs> um, and down there as well. And um, But also, every year, too, I get carrots from the reindeer, sweet. which is uh, what I pretend I'm really excited about. But quite frankly, you know, a carrot is a carrot. Although, as Mrs. Christmas pointed out, they do help you see in the dark. And if you're in my <laughs> job, that's a good thing. <laughs> that <laughs> really is a good yeah. thing. Also, do you not think that that's perhaps more of a present for them so that you can give the carrots back to them I by see. feeding them? Oh, uh, well, yeah. yes. That's, well, that's what most Cheeky children give their parents um, presents, which actually they really want. They really want. <laughs> <laughs> I've, learned true. I've learned this over the years. <laughs> Yeah, that is true. And the second part of William's question, Father Christmas, was um, why you gave the reindeers the names that you've given them. Well, Ali, I gave them the names because of their personalities. They're all named after the kind of reindeer and the kind of characters they are. So sort of, um, what about Dasher? Well, I call him Dasher because he's just so fast, as well as being very daft. He is fast. That's why we ended up in America. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> of course. What about a uh, Dancer? Dancer, well, he's got some great moves. <laughs> <laughs> what, of course he has. Well, what about Vixen? Vixen, well, she's... she's I'm worried like, about this answer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, no, she's a cunning little minx. Uh -huh. But um, she is... She's probably the brightest of the lot. Okay. Oh, love and, 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 and she reminds me a little bit of Mrs Christmas. Oh. Just in terms of her personality. Oh, that's which is really why I lovely. call her Vixen. Lovely. Comet? Comet. Very, very fast. Right. Dear. Gosh, he's fast. Okay. In fact, him and Dasher, you know, as long as they're going in the same direction, <laughs> <laughs> everything's You're okay. all going to get there on yeah. time. Um, right. And what about Prancer? Like yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> what about um, Prancer? Prancer, well, he's got some moves too. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, and he's also rather fond of himself. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Yeah. A bit of a show off. Catch him looking in the mirror. Oh, okay. Lot, you know. Yeah. Uh, a little bit too well turned out. Oh, you know the type. Yes. <laughs> yeah. oh, okay. Donna? Donna is named after Donda. Okay. Which means thunder in German. Oh, wow. And Blitzen, being the twin, is named after what the word German word for lightning. Oh, wow. I didn't know they were twins. Yes, they are that. twins. Cool. Well, I made them both at the same time. Oh, one in each hand. Exactly. Simultaneously. <laughs> and very, it was very tricky. And, uh, and then there's Rudolph. <laughs> and why is he Rudolph? Uh, he, well, he was a ballet dancer. Right. Wow. But um, he's, I just call him Rudolph because, well, my uncle had a dog called Rudolph. Right. <laughs> but that's a very, very long time ago. Felix would like to know, how do you deliver presents to houses that don't have chimneys? And what happens if you, they do have a chimney and there's a fire? <laughs> oh, look, Just the Felix. thought of it. Yeah, <laughs> look. Yeah, oh. <laughs> oh, Felix, I burnt my bottom. A thousand times. Oh no! Well, many thousands of times. Uh -huh. But I'm getting better. Each year I get a little bit better at looking yeah. after it. I can. The thing is, if there's a chimney with a fire, I avoid that chimney. Sure. But I can get through letter boxes. I can even, if I really suck my tummy in, yeah, and say a few magic words, get through a keyhole. <gasps> Wow, wow, that's a good uh, one. I, I didn't know that. And also, because I used to live in a flat, so that was a really big concern for me. Well, letterboxes, of course. Yeah. I prefer a cat flap. Yeah. Who doesn't? Yeah, yeah but, for um, sure. But even a keyhole can be managed. Wow. So is the is the bottom still sore from the burns, or has, has Mrs. Christmas fireproof? No, I've fireproof? got a tough old hide. Oh, good, I'm pleased. Because I was thinking that maybe Mrs. Christmas could fireproof those um, thermal underwear that she she buys you. Well, I don't. A little bit of a little bit of cold cream massaged oh, okay. on at the point at the right time is you know can be quite a pleasant. Well, experience. you know that um, Up All Hours works with Sudacrem, you see, um, and they create a nappy cream for babies. So what we could do is we could maybe give Father Christmas some of that Gosh, for, his, for your sore bottom. So Perhaps that might help. I mean, chafing isn't really an issue. No, I suppose no. It's more to do with burns. Um, okay, so we've got a question from Harry. 
and Harry would like to know who is the actual Father Christmas? Well, I am Harry. Of course I am. Well, except some people call me St Nick. Sure. Some people call me Santa Claus. Yeah. Some people call me Kris Kringle. And of course, some people dress up as me. Yes. All the time, in fact. Uh, especially at Christmas. Yeah. And uh, you don't want to be confused by the, you know, but at the same time, it's not a bad thing. Of course Because not. it's all about love, it's all about happiness. And they're it's friends all about of yours, are they? Not necessarily. Uh, <laughs> not necessarily, but, you know, some people do it for money. But I understand that. <laughs> but Everyone's really, got to make a living, haven't they've they? They've got to make a living, even elves. <laughs> so, Father Christmas, the next question is from Hugo, and he'd like to know what colour are your socks? Gosh, when I last looked, they were red. <laughs> Actually, they're always red. No, <laughs> and matches, Mrs. Obviously. Christmas knits, knits them for me, and she knits them for the Pope as well. Does she? Oh, wow, yes. that's the, not... she's the only other person oh, she allows to wear them. Right. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Toby would like to know how do you get back up the chimney after delivering the presents? Well, after a few mince pies and a few mm -hmm. glasses of sherry, sometimes that's a little bit tricky. Mm -hmm. But I just stand in the chimney, tap my ankles together, and whoosh, up I go. Off you go. Wow. Wow. Or through the letterbox, whoosh. That's true. Or it's even nice. sometimes through the keyhole, whoosh. Mm -hmm. Or even a flat cat flap or two. Yeah. Always with the clickety click, though. Or yeah. Clickety click, heels. yes. So I have to kind of make start myself, the magic. Yes, start the magic. I the vaporisation, <laughs> the stretchy stuff. Yeah, all of, all of that. <laughs> um, and that's something I think that most people looking at home wouldn't really appreciate. That Father Christmas is actually quite short. Yes. Compared to that's why he looks quite little. Yeah. Um, well, I'm sort of slipping down this. <laughs> that's because you're jolly tired. Well, aren't I think you? it's the combination of the velvet of my cloak yeah. and the. The, the, the surface of the chair. Yeah, yeah, I think so. So I will sit up a bit. That would be great. Thank you, Father Christmas. Thank you. Um, so, William M. William M. Yeah. So, who is your most reliable elf? And then, slightly off topic, do you curl your beard? <laughs> um, and if you do curl it, how do you keep it so curly? What a Gosh, great question. William. That's William a, M, indeed. Yeah. yeah. Well, I have over a billion elves. Uh -huh. Working for me. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I'm actually the biggest employer in the whole wide world. <gasps> wow. And of course, they're working for me all through the year. Yeah. Yeah. And my elves have to be very reliable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they have to be very careful. We have a strict elf and safety program. And um, <laughs> we take these things very, very seriously. Absolutely. Yeah. And when you have a billion workers, you have to look after them. Yeah. yeah. They sure. just don't run on love alone. No. Although that that does count for an awful lot. Yeah. It does. It does. And do you have a, is there, is there one that is the most reliable or? Well, we have an employee of the month. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, that's nice. And no one has won it more than once. Wow. Because they're all such jolly good chaps. Wow. Fantastic. Yes. Oh, Amazing. that's lovely. And so um, with the beard, any secret to those luscious curls? Uh, no, I, I have, again, I, you know, I think it's probably something to do with the mince pies and the sherry. Yeah. And, and all the happiness. And, and but mostly yeah. it's to do with the feeling of love that I feel all the time, particularly at Christmas time. Lovely. And it's the love of all the children in the world that just comes across me. And you're always smiling. I'm sure that's well, probably it helps, a lot it helps to do you with it. Smile because yeah. I've got a lot to smile about. Yeah. If you were loved by as many children as I am. Oh, you would true. you would smile all the time. Oh, too. That's true. Really sweet. So, Josh yeah. would like to know Father Christmas. How you read that great big long list and check it twice because it's so long. He would want to know that. <laughs> Josh, he's got that sort of precise kind of quality to yeah. it. Well, we have all year to read it. Mm -hmm. And I have help from Mrs. Christmas. She does A to O and I do from sort of O to Z. Uh -huh. and, um, and that's how we get through it. We do oh, a double okay. check and double check. Wow. Amazing. And then the second part of Josh's question was, um, do the elves help you deliver the presents? No, 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 they're very busy all year uh, making the presents, helping pack the presents, yeah. putting them into big sacks for me to take very quickly and so on. Yeah. So they're very busy doing that. In fact, when I'm out delivering the presents with the reindeer On by myself and a flask of hot chocolate, <laughs> they're having the party of their lives. Oh, wow, yeah. so that's their Christmas party night, is it? Christmas Eve, while you're out doing your... Yes, they really let their hair down because I'm away. So. <laughs> oh, of course, <laughs> yes. Um, so, Matthew would like to know, how many L's do you have? Actually, it's a two-parter as well, but let's do that one first. How many do you have? Well, I have 
over a billion elves. Oh, that's true. We mentioned yes, that earlier about the fact yeah, that I mentioned, so I, I'm many. One yeah. of the, I think I may have mentioned before, yeah. I'm one of the world's largest employer. Yeah. Loads of them. Amazing. Loads How do you remember all their names? Well, it is a bit difficult yeah. sometimes. Gosh. But imagine. actually, you know, when you've been living as long as I have. Yeah, you've got a good memory. You've got a good memory. <laughs> Maybe badges as well. I'd get Do you know I haven't thought of that, Ellie? Uh, yeah, it's a fabulous it. idea. Yeah, <laughs> that is a good idea. Very good there idea. you go. You're bright, you up all hours, girls. <laughs> you know, we're up all hours. We've got a lot of time to think about. Well, so I that's know true. all about being up all hours. I know you do. Yeah, you can, you're an honorary, honorary member. <laughs> so Matthew has a second part to his question, and he wants to know how do you know if the children have been naughty or nice? Well, sir, of course, mummies and daddies tell me. Yes, been naughty or nice. we do report we back. We do, but it's much more than that because I have a tremendous network of helpers up, right out there, all over the place. Okay. And little squirrels, little foxes, little mice, and even the birds all tell me what little boys and girls have been wow, up to. Wow, that's And in fact, when you hear birds singing, you might think they're singing, but in fact, they're telling me that you are a good or a little bad little boy. Wow. Wow. Gosh. Yes. I didn't know that. Children, I know. Did you know That's that? definitely one to tell Often, children. Which, so it's called bird song, but uh -huh. really it's Father Christmas song. Oh, I see. Yes. Okay, I didn't Dust know in the winter months or all Oh, no, around. all through the year. You've got to understand when you've got a billion children yeah. and you've got a billion presents to deliver, yeah. you've got to sort out all the information very carefully yeah. throughout the year because so much activity takes place on one night. Wow. wow. That's interesting. And we thought we had it tough with a busy festival no. season during the summer, but Father Christmas, yeah. I mean, that is really hard work. Yeah, it is. You're like MI6, aren't you, really? CIA, yeah. MI6, yeah. MI5. Yeah, all of them in one. Wow. Yes. You don't, mess with, don't mess with Father Christmas. No, no. There. Well, I've had a lovely time with those Apple Hours girls, but I really wanted to have a chance to talk to all of you, especially those who maybe asked a few questions and we haven't had time to give you the answers. So I really want to miss you, wish you a very Merry Christmas and remind you that it's not just about having presents, it's about love. This time of year it's about thinking of our brothers and sisters if we have them, but also our friends and people all over the world and shower them with our love. And if we do so, we'll all have a lovely Christmas. Hey, excuse really me, I'm like sorry, me. I don't suppose you know who it is who's parked their sleigh outside and it's just been towed away, that's all. Excellent. And I, I, I've been trying to get out for an hour, I had to call someone, I just wanted to let you know. So sorry, Bye. sorry, just, just to clarify, you've got Father hey, Christmas's sleigh. <laughs>